So what you're going to need is a 8GB flash drive, a Torx screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, an SSD and a MacBook. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to make a Yosemite bootable drive on your 8GB USB stick. So first thing you want to do is just stick your USB into the port. Alright, so now I'm going to be teaching you how to install Yosemite as a bootable drive on your USB. So the first thing is to insert your USB and then wait till that registers over here. And then you're going to open Disk Utility. Once Disk Utility is opened, select your USB and click Erase Mac OS Extended Journal. And you have to make sure that it's called Untitled just as it is right there. Click erase and erase that. All right, so once that's erased, you want to go to the App Store and you want to download OSX Yosemite. So you're gonna download that. I've already downloaded my version. So you're gonna close that. Once that's downloaded and you can see it, you can see it right here. Install OS X Yosemite. <coughs> you're gonna open, you're gonna see this in the comments section below. It's a terminal command that you're gonna put in. And that's basically gonna do the rest of the work. So you wanna open up terminal. And you're gonna copy this, this exact terminal command and when you paste it you got to check over that it's exactly the same as you see here so once you've checked that and you see it's working just press enter and it's going to erase the disk all right so once your USB stick is finished you're gonna see this this screen here and it's gonna have copying boot files, copy complete, done, and then once you see your your MacBook Pro name over here, you basically just close that and your USB stick that's a bootable Yosemite drive is completed. So just eject that. Before installing SSD into your laptop, it's essential to turn off the power. Once the power supplies off, just Flip over your MacBook and you're going to unscrew all the bottom screws. Once all of the screws are off, just gently pull your back cover off from the top and it will come off with ease. The next thing is to unscrew the hard drive. There are two screws allocated above the hard drive that you'll unscrew, held by a bracket. Just pull that off. Take out the hard drive and disconnect gently the SATA 3 cable. There are four little screw tabs on the hard drive that you'll need to unscrew in order to place them in the SSD. So once all the tabs are out of your hard drive, just get your SSD and screw the tabs in via the four holes. Once all the tabs are screwed in, just make sure you connect just as you took out the SATA 3 cable gently. Place the SSD through the brackets and gently push down on them. Secure the SSD using the bracket that you unscrewed before with the two screws. Alright, now that the hard bit's over, just grab your back cover and place it on gently and screw all the ten screws in.
Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to actually install using this USB you just created to put Yosemite onto your SSD that's been inserted into your MacBook Pro. So the first thing you got to do is just put in the USB when your computer's turned off. And obviously when you turn it on it's got no OS to work it so it's going to have an error screen. But basically you press the on button and then hold down the option key when turning it on. So as you see here, you got your SSD over here, I've already installed on mine. But that's going to be called whatever brand your SSD is, it's going to have the name just down there. Or maybe even untitled. And over here you've got your OSX Yosemite USB that you created before. So just open that. So once your screen is loaded, you're going to come up with the OSX Utilities uh, function over here. So what you want to do is click on Disk Utility first of all, and just continue on that. And basically what you're going to do here is do exactly what you did to the USB but to your SSD. So over here, mine's already called the Macintosh SSD, and it's already installed with Yosemite, but for you, you c it's going to be called, you know, Samsung, whatever else, Crucial, whatever brand SSD you've got, and basically select the top bar there, uh, sorry, the second bar, and then click Erase, and to Mac OS Extended Journal, and just name it whatever you want it to be named. So whenever you see your SSD or your your drive, it's going to be called whatever you place right in here. And just click Erase on that, and it's going to make it capable of reading the Yosemite OS. And then once that's done, just click on Install OS X, and then click Continue. And it's going to come up with the on-screen prompts of how to and you just continue on this and agree agree and then over here whatever you named your SSD that's going to be the name and just literally install that and it will continue on up until you've got your SSD up and running and your computer running on the SSD so I'm going to just shut down Alright guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it helped, and please subscribe and give it a like. Thanks.